All right, let's start with the game first, and I'm going to try and keep this really simple and easy. Now, I'm not going to go in talking too much about what each thing in here does. Instead, I'm just going to give you this, and then I'm going to recommend you to try and copy-paste it, and then you can test for yourself how it's going to run for you. Now, these settings here is what I recommend if you're struggling, and you just need more frames of the game. Then, take these settings. It's just going to put it all in low. Uh, except from anti aliasing Keep that in high. It has minor impact. Makes the game look way better. So, TAA, high. Keep that. Rest, took it off. And down here in the bottom, MIP streaming. MIP streaming can have a huge impact on your frames. Um, the NVIDIA reflex right now is bugged. Uh, so, take it off. Um, I know Battleset is working on to get a fix for it. Maybe they fix it now when this video is out and you're seeing it. So try to turn it on maybe, but still, if your frames are, are having a struggle, take it off again. Um, like It actually took away like 30 frames from my PC just to have that thing on. If you're still struggling with the frames, then try for NVIDIA DLSS. Uh, or if you don't have NVIDIA graphic hacks, then maybe the AMD. Um, if you should go for the NVIDIA one, that is one I know, then I recommend going for the balanced. Performance gets a bit too mushy in the quality. So balance is what I recommend going for. Now, if your frames are looking good and stable, and you want the graphics to look a little bit better, then try these. Text the quality high, keep the shadows on low. Uh, reason being is also because it tends to be a bit more easy to spot players with the settings of the shadows being low. Now, optic yellow D, I tend to tune that up to three instead, and over visibility to a thousand. The rest down here is the same until you're gonna hit the HPA O. I tend to have that on high performance. It's gonna make the game look way better when it's wet, as in raining, because of reflection in the game. Rest on that. It's the same. And remove MIP streaming. Try to see how the game runs without MIP streaming. If you're a streamer, however, I recommend hitting grass shadows. The reason being, the grass, the way they are rendered and how they look on your screen, they tend to actually make a lot of pixelations for the viewer over Twitch. But having the grass shadows enabled here is going to make it more easy for your rendering of your streaming PC and also Twitch. So, yeah, just recommendation. It doesn't have that big impact on your frames neither. Now, for the post effects, I mean, it depends on who you are, uh, but these are the settings I prefer. So, you can copy them and you can try them. Keep in mind that clarity is the one that's going to eat your frames. So, if you're struggling with the frames of post effects, take the clarity down. And then you can go in, into graphics instead and try to pull up the sharpness a little bit more if you want that little more sharpness and clarity to it. I, however, I prefer using it in here in the post effects uh, instead. If you're gonna go into a night raid with night vision and you want that famous black and white night vision, the only thing you need to do here is just hit the color grading. You're gonna go and find feather right here and crank that up to 100. And that's gonna turn your night vision goggles into black and white mode instead. Now in Tarkov, you have this setting here called only use physical cores, but it doesn't really work. So the workaround for this is to just go out on Windows, go to your browser and download Process Lasso. Whenever you have downloaded this thing and installed it, it's going to look like this when you open it. And then what you want to do is you want to have Tarkov running in the background. Scroll all the way down until you find this one called Escape from Tarkov.exe. Right click, CPU Affinity. Then in here, you're basically just going to take this one called Disable Hyper Threading and enable it. Done. Next part is going to be to disable the Xbox gaming bar and doing that, you just hit the start, go into settings, gaming, turn the thing off. Don't ask why, just do it. Next, we're going to go into power management and do something in there as well. So hit the system and over here, you're going to go and hit power and sleep right there. And then you got additional power settings. Have that on high performance. And after that, you're going to go over here and choose what the power buttons do. And this thing, click this blue line, change settings that are currently unavailable. If you got a check mark in this one, turn on fast startup, remove it. What this is, is basically whenever you shut down your PC, 
it's not going to really shut down. It's going to go into some sort of hibernate, which means all the memory that's been stored up inside your PC is still going to be there whenever you turn the PC on again. You can also just, if you don't want to turn this off, you can just like do a proper restart. Restarting your PC will also will also clean it, like the memory on it. Um, but I just prefer turning this off so I can actually just turn the PC off when I'm not using it and turn it back on again. And then I know it's going to be booting up fresh without any memory stored up in the RAM. So, yeah. Now, before you remove this check mark, I do have to warn you by removing it, also removing the fast boot up of the system, there's a chance that you might lose some of the data you've been working on. That meaning if you are, let's say, working on Word document, typing in something as either a project or something for work, and suddenly the PC just dies out for you or you lose the power, then it's all going to be gone because it's going to reboot with, the, with all the RAM cleansed. If you have this feature enabled, however, there's going to be a high chance it's going to be able to save it because it's allocated on your RAM blocks. So, yeah, keep that in mind. If you're using an NVIDIA graphic card and you want to try and go into the 3D settings of it to try and get some more frames out of it, would I highly recommend, then here are some of the images that I would say just copy-paste them. Um, I'm not going to spend time elaborating on what if different things in here does, but the settings right here is the one I've been using now for a long time. And for my testing, it is the best settings. And I've been using these same settings on three different PCs. And for each one of them, these were the best. Now there is one in here that is saying that my frames is capped. That is mostly because of I'm running a capture card and it can only handle 144 frames, so therefore it's capped. But still, like if you see your low frames of Tarkov, let's say it's around, I don't know, 80 frames, and the highest you see is around 140, maybe 150 or higher, then tweaking the your maximum frames a bit down can actually help you, leading into better combat. Because if you suddenly go from 150 frames and it's just gonna tank all the way down to like 80 frames, you're gonna feel that impact. However, if your cap is set to 120 and it drops to those, let's say 80, 90, 100, it's gonna be less impactful for you. But hey, play around with it. That's just my theory, how I feel about it. For you, it might be a different story. But yeah, play around with it. See what you enjoy the most of it. Lastly, we have the gamma settings. I recommend putting this thing to 1.20. It's going to make the image a bit more washed out. And with that, you can actually compensate with using a post fix, giving it back some more color. But the reason why the gamma is actually pretty important for Tarkov is there's a lot of areas where it's going to be extremely dark. The gamma specifically can help you into seeing things a little bit more clear, like the silhouette of a player or an item or an object or whatever. Gamma can help you with this. Brightness doesn't. So, yeah, hit the gamma, put it up there. It's going to help you. I hope this guide was to any help, and if not, then too bad. I guess I just wasted your time. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Wish you the best, and hey, if you're still here, maybe consider hitting the sub down below. Goodbye.